Okay guys, time for part two of my haul from yesterday. If you guys haven't seen part one, you can go back to the video before this and check out me actually shopping in Goodwill. I didn't think I was finding anything. I ended up staying for three hours at this Goodwill and I found a ton of stuff. So don't give up. I mean, I probably found, I went through every single rack in the store, found less than 1% of the entire store to sell, but it was totally worth it at the end of the day. That's our job. Okay, so let's just get through this. Um, this is a leather, it's either a skirt or a top. I can't decide yet, but this brand is Mason Margella, and this is the tag. If you ever see this tag, go ahead and pick it up. This is high-end designer stuff, and it has a crazy, crazy following, especially the shoes, especially the shoes. Um, next up, I got this cool... K-U-H-L. This is a furry vest. This one should do pretty well. And it does have the like hood hidden in there. This is a symbol. If you see the heart, you know it's women's. I bought this Lululemon workout tank. I only buy these if they're inexpensive now. They don't go for more than $20, but I'll still pick them up if they're a few bucks. They sell well on Poshmark. I sold one today on Poshmark for I believe 25 so... Um, this is a LuLaRoe and this is another brand that I'm extremely particular about. They had tons and tons and tons of this at the store yesterday, but this one was new with tags and it's a solid white and these were still going for about 30. So I grabbed that one. This is an icebreaker, icebreaker Marana wool. I always pick this stuff up when I see it. It does really well. This is just a basic shirt. With this stuff, even if it's new with tags, you want to double check it because a lot of times it will have little tiny holes. This stuff definitely gets holes easy. So whenever you're at the thrift and you see this, pick it up and then double check that it doesn't have a hole. Even new with tags stuff, I've seen holes in it before. And this is a Vince oversized striped wool sweater. This one is a Vince perforated, so like the perforated little holes. Oversized sweater. I'm guessing the same person turned these two in. Super cute. This brand is Sundance, and their sweaters and their shirts do really well. I love the knit of this. It needs a little bit of a sweater shave, but that's okay. That's the tag. It's Sundance catalog. I always put catalog in the title too. You can see it has the tacked on tags that we're always looking for. And this is just like such a pretty color. I love this sweater. This is an Eileen Fisher piece. So this is a newer Eileen tag, tacked on tags. And it's just this really pretty green oversized sweater. This one is a brand new with tags, Angels of the North. It's like a wrap style sweater. And look at that, brand new with anthropology tags. Love this. So some of these sweaters I might have to sit on for a little bit, but I'll list them on Poshmark and on eBay. Got a pleated back, should do well. This is another anther piece. I almost didn't get this, but I thought, even if it's not a piece that does well, because I didn't really find this exact one in the store, I would just keep it. I love this style. So there it is, there's tiny. And in case you guys don't know, I haven't said this in a while, if you're kind of new to the channel. Oh, this doesn't have the right RN number. RN66. Seven, five, where is it? If you're trying to figure out anthropology brands, here it is. 66170, see that RN number? That means it's either anthropology, free people, or urban outfitters. So you wanna make sure you find the right one. But anyway, 66170 is the RN if you're trying to figure out if your brand is anthropology or not. Okay, Joseph Ripkoff. This brand has a following. I only got this because it was half off. It was really just like $3. I wouldn't have paid much for this particular piece, but it is pretty. I love the button details on this. And this brand does have a following. Their newer pieces do really well. Okay, this is the first piece I found after I went to with the shoes and I knew it was gonna be a good day. Whenever you find St. John's, this is a gorgeous houndstooth knit jacket. Look at the buttons on here. So this is St. John's collection. This is an easy $100 flip right here. Ah, and it was $7.99. Okay, next up, I might keep this for myself. It was half off, so I picked it up. It's a Gap um, Pendleton Collaboration Jean Jacket. These weren't selling for a ton on eBay, but I thought it was really cute. It was half off. 
So I went ahead and grabbed it and I thought, even if I can't sell it on eBay, I'll just keep it for myself. This is a paparazzi jacket. Picked these up before. The really heavily embroidered ones do the best. The longer, the better. Um, there's the brand. And you can see the back is super embroidered as well. It needs like a steam. Um, but it's a really gorgeous piece. All right, this is probably my best find of the day. I almost kept it for last. I'm actually gonna move it over here so you guys can see it really well. So this is a um, Nike Lab piece. So I sold one or two of these pieces before. Um, Nike Lab is like usually the collaboration. So here it is. This white tag will generally tell you that it's Nike Lab. Needs a lint roll, that's okay. Um, but this jacket is selling for about $500 on eBay. Um, there's only one other one up right now and it's not in this colorway but these jackets this nike lab stuff you can see it has all this great detail um it's crazy good so whenever you see this white tag look it up a lot of it doesn't actually get produced for the u.s um and i'm lucky enough to live where i live so i find these kind of um, employee samples and all that good stuff okay another really good nike piece that i picked up yesterday was this um, Olympics piece. You can see the back says the United States of America. Two of them have sold for over a hundred and then one is just active right now. So there's only been three so far that I saw yesterday on eBay. There might be more, that was on the mobile app which sometimes doesn't show everything. But either way, we should be able to do about a hundred on that. This is a Lululemon jacket. It's a longer jacket jacket still has the pull tab in it and it's a size 12 it's really really cute actually and then it was a really good deal yesterday so grab that for 10 and then this is a lululemon um sweater dress this is actually the first lululemon dress i've ever found in the wild so you can see it's got this really cute like oversized cow neck love this this is only 6.99 which is crazy Okay, then we have Armani. There it is. And this is just a little black dress. Perfect for work. It's like a fit and flare kind of skater dress. This I loved. This is a dinosaur dress. I believe this was sold at Mod Cloth when I was looking it up. Comps are around 30. But how, how cute is this, you guys? I'm putting this in my posh closet. Hopefully someone, it won't fit me, but least someone who sees this picks it up because I just couldn't leave it. It was kind of expensive. I'm not going to make like a ton of money on it, but I just couldn't leave it behind. I had to find a home for this. How cute is that? Okay, then I got some pants. So these are Babette pants. These do really well. There's two pair of these. Babette stopped making clothing, so their stuff is super sought after. Um, these are aloe leggings. These are the mesh these are called the goddess legging. So you can see the fabric on the top and the bottom is different, like shorts with extra fabric. Um, these generally do really, really well. So anytime you see the aloe goddess leggings, definitely pick them up. This is carrots. These were half off. These are riding breeches or breeches or however you say it. Um, but this brand is expensive and any sort of riding gear does well. So their jackets do really well. Pick them up. These are just Eileen Fisher, just like a knit pant, but it was an extra large. It wasn't expensive. They were in good, really good shape, so I grabbed those. These like crazy trip bondage pants. There's the tag. These do really well. Look them up. The men's ones do even better than the women's ones. Um, you can get upwards of like $70 a pair for these things. These will probably be like in the $40 range, but still grab these bondage style pants whenever you see them. These are actually for Joe, but I thought I'd show you anyway, because if you guys see these sort of things, Joe's always buying them. Um, these are called spats, or he calls them spats, but he needs them for when he is doing jujitsu. They're actually like $35 a piece. So whenever I find them that look brand new, I could will, I'll pick them up for him. Um, and then this is a suit from Armani. So we have the suit jacket and then the matching pants. And then we have a pajama set from Soma. Cute little dogs on it. Um, I actually, these are my favorite pajamas. I have a pair I wear almost every night. I love them. I might keep these or I might sell them. We'll see. But either way, 
these pajamas do really good, so pick them up. We have another pair of Soma. This is a brand new with Tag Soma um, night dress. And then this is another amazing piece. This is a Filson vintage wool jacket. These sell easily for between $100 to $200, depending on the condition. Mine does have a little bit of fading, and there was a hole um, right here. So mine will probably be on the lower end, but you guys, these jackets are super, super sought after. Definitely, whenever you see this tag, look it up. But just put it in your cart and buy it, actually. If you see this tag, buy it. Buy these things. I sold a pair of pants for $100 recently. And then we have these overalls. These are free people overalls. They're just distressed overalls. They weren't that expensive. Um, and overalls are super hot right now, so we grabbed those. And then I have these shoes. So these are the four pair of shoes I ended up buying from the haul. I know it's like nothing that I had originally put in my cart. Um, but these are all rare as far as I could tell. I'm not a Nike expert by any means. But these I could not find a ton of info on, and it looked like they were all selling um, for at least $100, even used. Like, these are all Nike Air Max, and they have a following. So this pair and this pair seem to be very rare. This is a pair of Nike Air Force Ones in the Scarface edition. Um, these, again, are another $100 pair if they're used. So grab those. Hopefully they'll do well. I'm not a Nike expert again, but I'm excited. Anyway, this is my new shoe room too, guys. I have a whole room full of shoes. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the haul on I Will Talk to You Later.